Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to spoof your location in Pokemon Go on your iOS devices, including iOS 18, without getting error 12 issues or a jailbroken device. Alright, guys, to get started, we'll be using the brand new Tenorshare iAnyGo update. This location spoofing tool is very unique because it does not use any custom packages or any different versions of Pokemon Go. It can spoof your original Pokemon Go directly, unlike the other location spoofing tools. So, you don't get any error 12 messages. It has a lot of features such as joystick controls, keyboard control, 360 automatic movement control and lot more. So the joystick controls are very amazing. You get many more features like single spot, multi spot and jump teleport mode. We'll be taking a look at it in today's video and I'll be showing you guys all of its features. So if you also want to try out this tool, the link to its official website will be given in description box below. With that being said, let's start setting it up. Simply choose your language, afterwards tap on I accept and then tap on the next button and choose the folder where you want this app to be stored. So I'll simply press the yes button and let's start setting up this app. Once the setup has been completed, simply tap on the finish button. And here we go guys, our Tenorshare iAnyGo has successfully started. Now the first thing which I recommend you guys to do is simply tap on this profile icon and make sure to log into your Tenorshare ID. Once you guys have been logged in, you can start changing your location with the help of iAnyGo. You guys can check out its features such as single spot movement, multi spot movement, joystick movement along with jump teleport. But I recommend you guys to go with the first option. Afterwards, make sure to read the warning that this tool is only created for privacy purposes to protect your privacy. Also, this video has been sponsored by Tenorshare, but I'll be giving you guys my honest opinions on this tool. Let's tap on the enter button. Afterwards, you'll need to connect your iOS or Android device to the PC. So guys, here is my iPhone. I'll simply connect it to my PC by using a USB cable. And once that has been done, it will be automatically recognized in iAnyGo. I'll simply press the next button until the connection is successful. Afterwards, you can either use game mode if you only want to spoof location in games. I personally recommend you guys to do this option or else you can choose general mode so it will work with all the apps. But for today's video as we'll be spoofing Pokemon Go, we'll go with the game mode. Here you'll get some instruction to pair your PC Bluetooth with your mobile device Bluetooth. We won't require to use any USB or Wi-Fi connection after doing this. To start off, make sure to enable the Bluetooth on your PC. PC. Open Bluetooth on your iPhone. Afterwards, make sure to connect to your PC. Once the connection is successful, it will ask you to do the following stuff by going into privacy and security and making sure to turn off the location services. And with this method, you won't get any sort of error 12 issues while spoofing your location in Pokemon Go. We'll need to turn off location services, cellular network and Wi-Fi for 10 seconds and then turn them back on. And as you guys can see, I have turned off the Wi-Fi on my iPhone along with that location services. Now that it's been 10 seconds, let me turn on location. Afterwards, turn on your Wi-Fi. Once these steps are completed, we can simply tap on the next button. By the way, in game mode, keeping Bluetooth connection is sufficient. There is no need to maintain a USB or Wi-Fi connection. So that's the plus point. Afterwards, we'll need to go to general and make sure to reset your location and privacy settings. This can be done by simply opening your settings app. Afterwards, going to general and then scroll down until you find this option. Then simply tap on reset. Afterwards, make sure to choose the reset location and privacy section. And there we go guys, now we can start using our Tenorshare iAnyGo tool on our PC directly with the help of the game mode. Once the iAnyGo tool has been set up, our final step will be to simply launch Pokemon Go on our iOS device. Afterwards, tap on allow while using the app. So there we go, our game has successfully started. And immediately you will be able to see I am using an wireless connection and the Pokemons are spawning properly. We are not seeing any error messages, which means that Tenorshare iAnyGo is working properly. Now towards the left side of your screen, you will be able to see my iPhone and towards the right side is the Tenorshare iAnyGo tool. Now the first feature which I want to show of this app is the search feature. So at the top left corner, you will be able to see an search bar where you can enter the name of any place in the entire world and you will be able to teleport to that location. You guys will be able to see that the location will pop up right here. I will simply press the first option and the map will automatically load. Now if I want to directly teleport to this location, I can simply tap on start to modify then tap on continue button. And there we go guys, now you'll be able to see we have been successfully teleported to New York City in USA. So let's head back to Dubai and you'll be able to see we are back at our previous location. Now the next feature which I want to show you guys is the joystick movements. Once you tap on the joystick movement option at the right side, you'll be able to see a joystick will pop up. Now what you can do is use the WASD or arrow keys of your keyboard to control the direction 
direction of your character's movement simply increase the speed of your joystick controls for example i'll set my speed to 40 kilometers simply use the joystick control you can see that now we are moving forward it has been locked successfully and you can even change the direction without removing the lock now if you want to stop this movement you can simply press this red button and your movement will successfully stop within few seconds i want to show you guys another feature of tenorshare inigo this is the change location feature which we used previously to teleport to New York but it also works in short term distances for example let's say you want to teleport here you can tap on start to modify then tap on continue and you guys will be able to see our location has been successfully teleported so this is the teleportation mode we also get few more options such as the single spot movement now let me create a single spot movement to this location afterwards we'll set our speed as 42 km per hour and we'll select as round trip afterwards simply tap on start navigation then our share i anigo will automatically create a route now you can simply tap on start to move afterwards tap on continue once again and you guys will be able to notice that our character has started moving to that location that we chose and you will also be able to see the distance and ETA in the Tenorshare iAnigo app. Now if you want to pause your location spoofing and then catch any Pokemon, you can do that too by simply tapping on the pause button. So this is how simple it is to customize your speed and route in Tenorshare iAnigo single spot movement. Now let's say you want to travel to multiple destinations or multiple spots. That's where multi spot movement comes in where you can create your own route route which your character will follow. For example, I have created this straight line route, afterwards I'll set the route to this location and then to this location. I'll increase my speed to 60 or 70 km per hour, afterwards tap on start to move option. Now what Tenorshare iAnigo will do is that it will follow the route that I created strictly, it won't create its own planned route which is useful if you want to travel to a specific destination. Now iAnigo also has features like jump teleport mode, so it is similar to the teleport mode which I showed you guys few seconds ago and it is also like the multi spot moment where you can teleport to multiple destinations so i have set these three points i'll simply tap on start to move you guys will be able to see that we have teleported to our first location and if you have any business here you can simply catch your pokemon or do the gym battles afterwards tap on start to move once again and move to your next destination so yeah it works completely well without giving any error messages you don't need to have a jailbroken ios device it is that simple if you want to spoof your location in pokemon go on ios 18 or 17 devices now let me show you guys some more features of tenorshare iAnigo you get multi device connections let's say you want to spoof location in three iphones simultaneously you can do that you can also create your favorite locations by favoriting any destination that you travel to by tapping on the star icon you also get the option to scan all the Pokestops and gyms near you, import GPX file and the most important thing that is to reset your location to your original location. So guys in my opinion Tenorshare iAnigo is the best tool that you can try out currently to spoof your location in iPhone or Android. Be sure to check it out from the link given in description box below. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.